Suisse. And now a London judge ruling one of Credit Suisse's funds a so-called victim status. Yeah, this is an important procedural step because technically it now clears the way for Credit Suisse to directly file suit against SoftBank to blame it in part for losses related to Greensill. Uh, there was a 2021 collapse of Greensill Capital uh, that further embattled the Swiss bank. It filed for permission to kick off its long-anticipated suit in a London court back in August. Sources close to the litigation say there's a lot of technicalities here, but technically the client's money was not lent out by Credit Suisse, but by Greensill. But the spectacular meltdown of Greensill, which was part of Lee Greensill's empire, was the first of two implosions that cost Credit Suisse billions of losses. You see that big circle right in the middle? That's Greensill and Archegos Capital, which blew up shortly afterward. That one-two punch plagued Credit Suisse. Uh, there were then additional scandals that the bank has now been trying to turn itself around from ever since. Uh, SoftBank has previously, again, uh, made some comments about this legal skirmish. Uh, they are not commenting about this latest decision. Um, but directly at issue, Greensill had restructured its relationship with a construction firm, uh, according to sources close to the matter, and wrote off about $440 million of obligations it was owed. Our credit Credit Suisse alleges that SoftBank concocted that restructuring so that it could pull its own money out and that it also knew that Greensill would be in free fall and unable to pay our Credit Suisse back. Uh, SoftBank again contesting this, but Credit Suisse bottom line wants the $440 million and more back and this decision puts it on track to launch that process. So what happens next? Or what's likely to happen next? Well, the judge says that SoftBank still has an opportunity to argue to the court in this pre-lawsuit phase that there's no basis uh, for Credit Suisse to come forward. It spoke very dismissively uh, back in August, saying Credit Suisse was taking this procedural step because it was, quote, desperate to shift blame to SoftBank for its own poor investment decisions. Our Credit Suisse is uh, suing SoftBank both in the U.S. Uh, and the U.K. to try and force the Japanese firm to disclose documentation and overall to help it reclaim a lot of money that was lost.